So now we're looking to factor by substitution. We like that first term to be some kind of x squared. Now this is x to the fourth, with, which is not x squared. And we like that middle term to be x, right? Because we like it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. The problem here is that we have different exponents of x for both terms, which kind of throws us off a little bit, which is why we need the substitution stuff. So what I'm going to say here is, see, because x to the fourth is x squared squared, and then I've got plus x, which is squared. And then I got the minus, I'll make that a minus 6. So I'm just changing it to look a little bit more like what we're used to with this ax squared plus bx plus c. All right. So what this tells me is that if I take, let me go back to that actually. I do not want, I don't want, this to be like this necessarily. Okay. So I, I kind of want this middle x squared to be x to the power of 1 because that's the power of x in the bx right there. Okay. The only reason I want to do this is because it tells me what I can substitute for x. Okay. What this means is that if I said let, not that you have to write let, but it's very formal, let x squared equal some other letter that we love, like u, or whatever letter you love so much. So in other words, I'm replacing all my x squareds with a u value. And then it should look a little bit more like ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so let's do that right now. This red x squared becomes a u. But remember, it's squared. Like that. My middle x squared is a u, not an x. And that was to the power of 1, which I don't really have to show anyways. And that was minus 6. See how it gave us this new expression right here? u squared plus u minus 6. Now, if those u's were x's, it may not be as confusing. But in this process, when I, since I've replaced x squared with something, in the end, I've re got to replace that something back with x squared. So on this one, we're looking at negative 6, and we need two factors of negative 6, which add up to 1. Well, 2 and 3 will work, negative 2 and 3 specifically. When I add them, I get 1. So I'm going to split this up into a negative 2u plus 3u. And I still got my u squared and the minus 6 right there. So we're, we're at to the point where we need to factor by grouping. So in this first set right here, I'm going to factor out a u. And in the second set, I can factor out a 3 so I've got u times u minus 2 plus 3 times, well, u minus 2. And that gives us the u minus 2. And then in the other parentheses, the u plus 3. But remember, u is not, was not part of the original expression. So I need to go back and replace all my u's in this factored expression with what it was, this x squared. So I'm going to do that now. I got minus 2 and plus 3, but all my u's are x squareds. And if the 2 or the 3 were perfect squares, I would be looking to maybe factor those out even further. Does that make sense right there? 